Hi guys and welcome back to another reading vlog. So this vlog is going to be about a week long. It depends on how long it takes me to read but I'm going to give myself a week because it is a big book and I'm thinking it will take me <coughs> about a week. Give or take. So the book that we will be reading is a Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maths. So everyone knows what this book is about. I'm not going to go into what it is about. Basically it is t um, the story of Nesta which is Farrah's, one of Farrah's sisters and obviously Cassian is involved in this book too and it's just basically about these two characters specifically Nesta. Now, I am a massive Akatar fan. I was a bit late to the programme of reading it. It took me a while to read A Court of Thorns and Roses because purely it was so hyped on Bookstagram. I was just like, I don't want to read a hype book just because everyone's going on about it. But then someone um, did a really amazing review and I love their Bookstagram anyway purely because they do really long reviews like I do on mine and it was such a fantastic review I was just like I'm gonna have to look it up and I did I fell in love with the books so I got it read the book in a day ended up having to buy the rest of the series because there was no way in hell I was gonna cope with not reading it so Akatar has been and is still my favorite series going Sarah J Mass is actually my favorite fantasy author I pretty much have near enough all her books. I've got all of the Throne and Glass books, all of the Akatar books. The only ones I don't own of hers are the ones that are with um, some other authors but I'm sure I'm probably going to end up getting them soon. But yeah, I'm going to be reading this. I'm really excited to read this. I have wanted to read this for a while. I pre-ordered it and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for it to say it's going to be released. It then finally gave me a date for February the 16th. I got it February the 16th and then I just stared at thinking I can't read it. I can't read it because I had three books that I still needed to read in my February TBR. I also had um, some books that I needed to read for a 24 hour readathon that was participating in. So I knew for well if I started it that A I probably wouldn't finish it and B I wouldn't be able to put my whole like process into this book I wouldn't be able to re like read it properly because I'd be like reading other books so I decided I was gonna wait and put it in my March TBR and have like a specific moment to enjoy and devour this book and lucky enough it actually fit in with the Mean Girls March um readathon one of the prompts that I'm in with team Karen was um getting those who are going shopping and it was a book you recently bought or a new release and this actually fit both of those two parts so I actually was really glad that this had a part in a uh, readathon as well so yeah I'm going to read this I'm really excited to read this I am probably gonna tab it like hell because you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to it's how I am if I really enjoy a book that's what I do but yeah, I'm really excited to read it. I'm really excited to sort of see all of the old characters like Farah and Reese as more Amran and like, you know, see more of the Night Court because I love the Night Court and see where this goes. I'm kind of, I don't know what to expect. I know it's about Nessa and I, from reviews that I've been able to read that didn't have spoilers, a lot of people have been very infuriated with her. So it'll be interesting to see my thoughts about her. But um, throughout the series, I've, I've, I have always been a bit drawn to her. I wouldn't say I liked her, because she did annoy me at times. But there was just something about her. I really wanted to know who she was. And yeah, so I'm excited to see where this ends. Obviously, I know there's like a romance in here. And this romance is between Ness and Cassian. So it'll be interesting to see whether that happens or whether it doesn't. It'll be interesting to see what the sex scenes are like because Sarah J Maas does do brilliant sex scenes and it'll be interesting to see how steamy it gets. 
So yeah, I have absolutely no idea how this is going to play out, but regardless, I know I'm going to love it. I loved all of the previous books and gave them five stars, so I do not see me not doing so for this. But you never know, I might absolutely not like it, but I highly doubt it. I've not once not liked anything Sarah J Mass has read, written. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm really excited to read this and I'm going to stop talking now and dive straight into it because I've waited long enough. I will say that this vlog is probably going to be a long one um, because I do want to video my reactions because I find, I found myself when I was reading the Akatar series, the amount of reactions I had to all the different parts in the series, I thought this probably is going to be exactly the same. So I want to actually video my reactions because I'm not going to be doing this vlog as a spoiler. Should have probably put that right at the start. This is not going to be a spoiler vlog. I'm not going to spoil it. I don't like it personally, so I'm not going to go and do it to you guys. However, I will say that I may be talking about the previous books and like certain things that happened in them. So if you haven't read the series and you want to, and probably not watch this, just because I will be bringing up some stuff that was in the previous books. But it's up to you really. But in regards to this, I'm not going to do any spoilers for this book because I I don't like it my, to myself, so I'm not going to do it to you guys. I want people to watch it and sort of make a decision about this book, whether they want to read it or not. So it won't be spoilers. It will be probably a long vlog because I will be doing my reactions to certain elements of the book if there is something there that's shocking. But yeah, enough talking. I'm going to dive in and start reading this. I am really, really excited and I'll catch up with you all a little bit later. Hi, just a quick update before I do the school run. I'm on chapter 41, page 420. I managed to read 149 pages so far. It's official. I've become a mother hen around Nessa. Like, I'm very protective over her. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's you, right? So... The end page of the chapter was Mother Spare You All and my literal reply to that was That's my girl. I have become so protective over Nessa, it's become it's become really bad. <laughs> like I've gone mother hen. But well you can see I'm loving it. It's been tabbed to pieces. I'm 
you know, halfway point, just over the halfway point. It's getting good. It's getting really good. But yeah, I'm not going to have to do life and be a mum again. So I will go back to reading some more of this once that one's in bed again. But it's going to it's gonna be a struggle not wanting to pick it up because I really want to pick it up. But yeah, that's my update. I still love this book. There's nothing about this book I hate. But yeah, I'll catch up with you either later on tonight or if I don't, I will come back and update you all in the morning. Hi. So I realise I have been an awful vlogger because I haven't been on here to update you on how I'm getting on with the quarter silver flames. As you can see, we're uh, having fun there. So I last left you on Wednesday afternoon. We are officially quarter past six in the evening of Friday. I know, I'm sorry, but I, you gotta give me my juice. I was in a complete massive reading bubble. It was all I was doing and I was just extremely engrossed. So, I'm trying to work out where I last left you and I have a feeling it may have been, no I don't think I was there either. I can't remember where I last left you. I've got a feeling we're on, we were on part two. We're on part three now, obviously. So where I am now is on chapter 63, page 646, and it is just left it on a massive big twist. And I can't tell you what this big twist is, but it's just gotten to a point where I'm like, oh, shit's going down. Shit's going down. But. I thought I'd do a little mini update on what I can without doing any spoilers. So, firstly, I'm absolutely loving this book to the point where I think this is my favourite book in the series, which is so sh shocking, <laughs> which is shocking because obviously I do love Akatar. Each book in the series got better and better. And I know a lot of people aren't so keen on this one because I think this is very much more character driven rather than anything else. Now I'm gonna be honest there's nothing actiony in here not a lot compared to um the other three books where there has been some pacey action that's been involved which is usually reached halfway nearly for like like the last part of the book. At the minute, nothing like that has really happened. There's been some little bits, like when they've had to find certain things, but um, it's not a lot compared to her other books. But obviously we've left, I literally just left it in a big twist, which is to me gonna start getting quite fast paced and action-y. However, I am enjoying just the character building in this book. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I really think Nesta is my favourite character and Cassian. Like, I loved Farah, I loved Reese, I loved their dynamics, I loved their romance. And, like, it was sort of enemies to lovers kind of romance. And not so much, I don't think, I wouldn't say it's enemies to lovers with um, Nesta and Cassian. It's just sort of more fear than anything. Um, but I just, I am, I'm absolutely loving just diving into Nessa and who she is, her fears, the things she loves, or every single bit about her. You're learning in this book and, you know, in books one to three in the Akatar series, you get snippets of Nessa and she's not very nice. And... A lot of people still reading this book still have that opinion. They don't particularly like her and all that. And I can I can see where they're coming from. But for me, I understand why she's the way she is. 
and I get it and you know through, throughout this book she's starting to remember who she is she's starting to get on with things and just the amount of inner strength this woman has just to keep going even though there is a big part of her who that doesn't I just I'm honest I'm in awe with her I really am like throughout this book I have gone you go girl to the point that I've said it out loud a few times and I did it um earlier when I was reading downstairs and my mum was like who are you chatting to <laughs> because she overheard me saying it and it's just it is I feel really motherly over her I'm like constantly rooting for her I'm rooting for her and Cassian and it's, I, I can understand like the mixed reviews about this book because it's not particularly like the others but I am someone who as much as I like action and I like the warm bits and all that sometimes it can be a bit too heavy in the politics kind of thing and that sometimes makes me lose interest and I get bored and I sort of just want to go past it and as much as I never felt like that in the Akatar series there are some bits where you know when they're doing the whole game plan of what to do and all that it just gets a bit just get on with it kind of moment I mean, it's never been too heavy to the point I don't like it but there has been stuff like that in there that I've sort of gone a bit oh god here we go but lucky enough it's been like a few few pages of it and it's sort of that's it so to have it like this is very different and to me it's still very fast paced like if I'm going to be totally honest I could have devoured this in a couple of days but for the first time in a very long time I've actually just sat and paced myself like I left you Wednesday afternoon and I actually didn't pick the book back up not because I didn't want to I was itching to pick it back up but it was more because I knew if I did I would not stop reading and it meant that the book would be over and for me I just want to savour being in this world a bit longer because once it's finished that's it like you know unless I reread the books which I will do at some point but not so soon after just reading them but I just I wanted to savour it a little bit longer and taking it slower than I usually do with books has actually made me appreciate it a bit more like you can see I have tabbed pretty much nearly enough every page because there's bits that I've really liked in this book but I have I've just engrossed everything more taking it slow like I am more than likely going to finish this tonight because I have got just hang on how many pages is this it's just shy under 800 isn't it yeah so we've got 751 pages of this book and I'm on 646 so I've just got over 100 if I've worked that out right my maths isn't brilliant so I will finish this tonight which actually works well because um as much as taking it slow is nice I have 10 other books that I need to read and some of them are chunky books and you know it's taken me nearly a whole week to read this because I've taken it slow and I have a lot of books to still get through so finishing this tonight it does give me the weekend to focus on some other books but I'm loving it I'm absolutely loving it I have no fault at all in this in this book at all I'm loving it and it has just ended at a bit where I'm like oh I think shit's gonna hit the pan now but this one thing I love about this book which I think Sarah J Mass has really knuckled down in this is how women should be made equals to men it shouldn't be different it shouldn't be that men does this and women does that that women are just the breadwinner um women are just the family makers they make the home they cook they clean they carry the children and men do everything else and you know even in this day and age it's still sometimes like that and you know we're getting better but it still is you know women should be inclusive to men you know just because we're female does not mean we're not as good as men because sometimes we're even better than them and I love that this book is focusing on that it's focusing that actually women can do just as good as the men sometimes even better and I love that in this it's starting to get Nesta and 
some of the other characters that I won't mention because I don't want to spoil it, but other characters from here to start fighting to become these women warriors that um, have been in this fey world for like thousands of years but like their line has declined and blah 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 and you know this Nesta and these groups of women are wanting to restart that and I love that because it's showing how much they're training they used to you know they were weak they couldn't do this they couldn't do that and now they got to the point where they literally are now warriors and then this things just happened and it is nabbed Nessa and these women away. Which is it, it, it isn't a bad thing. It's a thing that happens in this Fey world to like make them have a title per se. But obviously I'm kind of feeling like there's this war brewing with the um human i still think she's a human queen but i don't know it's one of the queens who went into the cauldron and she's um trying to get all of these things for this one creature so she can then find the cauldron to get her youth back because she the um cauldron took her youth from her so she's immortal but she's an old hag basically and she's just a self-centered bitch who just thinks being gorgeous is life basically i don't like her and she's not very much been talked about in this book that much but the vibe i'm getting from her is she's a bitch <laughs> but um i kind of got a little bit of an inkling that as much as there's this little like ritual going on that i think it's also a ploy for this queen that maybe she's going to be involved and shit may hit the fan kind of thing because she's quite crafty she's been very quiet like she kind of showed her face a little bit and then for a good two months she's been very quiet so I'm kind of thinking she's been plotting and maybe something's going on with this ritual with her so yeah we're, we're, we're getting to a very interesting part so I'm very excited I love it I love this book and I'm kind of hoping that there's going to be a happy ever after for Nesta and Cassian because they kind of got to a point where there was a friendship and then it got to a point where he finally understood her like literally she poured her heart out and he understood her and then we just got to a point where he said something and she's just literally pushed him away because it's the one thing she sort of expected might happen but she's not ready for it at this particular moment and so she's kind of pushed him away but she's just pushed him away to the point now she's been taken to somewhere and now she can't tell him what's going on yeah <laughs> that's as far as i'm going to go because i will probably drop a spoiler in a minute so i it'll be interesting to see what goes on between them two like will it blossom to what i hope will happen or will it not but there is also something in here that's making me kind of curious because obviously in book three, um, Lucian called Elaine his mate. So that is not a spoiler unless you haven't read the book then, you know, but <laughs> he called her a mate and obviously Elaine's not there. But there is something going on between Elaine and someone else and I'm kind of like curious is there something going along on there like I'm hoping if there's if there's well I'm hoping the next book will talk about Elaine because by the sound of it it's gonna talk about the Night Court's family so I think that the next book would probably go into Elaine because obviously she's the other sister that has turned to Faye that has a story but I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to if that happens but I'm also a bit anxious about it because Elaine's the one that I do not like she is out of all of the characters and the sister I'm not keen on I just think she's a pretty face and that's it so I'm like wanting to if there's a book about her I'm wanting to read it because 
it would be interesting to see her character and whether there's more to her than what I judge her. But I'm also a bit apprehensive about it because she's one of the characters I don't like and if I don't vibe with a character I tend to not like the book. So, but yeah, I'm gonna now stop chatting because I've been chatting for 40 minutes <laughs> but I've got a lot to say and I'm just going to continue reading and I will come back to you either at the end and voice all my thoughts or if I go into another pivotal moment that I just need to chat about without spoiling it. <laughs> it's so hard not to do spoilers in this like I don't want to because it's not fair and people who haven't read it but I can see why some people do do spoilers because you just want to discuss everything but I'm not going to do that because I'm not that kind of person but yeah I'll come back to you later. <laughs> nothing like really big was happening and then it left in a, like a little in a in a moment two two big things are happening at the same time by two different like people and <laughs> I don't know what to do I'm sat here absolutely with dread thinking oh my god what's gonna happen because sarah j mass likes to do that doesn't she she likes to flip in shove unexpected things and i probably have what 50 pages left to read and i don't know how it's gonna end <laughs> like there's always some death someone dies maybe not a big character or it could be a big character someone dies someone important usually dies and i am there thinking oh my god how is this gonna play because you never know with sarah j mass she likes to rip your heart out and shred it to pieces and then put it back <laughs> i'm on chapter 70 page 708 <laughs> and i am on edge i was downstairs reading and i had to come up here because i was getting in a a frenzy mode and my family's looking at me going what the heck's wrong with you i don't want to read anymore because i am so scared of how it's going to play out and end <laughs> i don't know what to do now. it's so good like it just got really really nitty into it now like not like it was before but it is I don't know what to do. I don't want to read anymore because I'm so scared it's going to end in a way I do not want it to end. I'm going to have to do it. It's 50 pages left. Man up, Amy. Man up. I'll be back in a bit.
Breathe, breathe. <laughs> 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 What the f- what? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh, please and nice, please and nice. <laughs>
No, fly, what the... Oh my god, no! Me crying, I'm not gonna be impressed. <sighs> oh, what? by this flipping book. Breathe, Amy. do what to think of this book. Yep. Oh it does just doesn't just end there does it? No now there's more Just as one bit and something else comes along and it's gonna rip my heart out at the minute. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry on TV. I'm not gonna cry on TV. sugar <laughs> oh what what else was going on? What was going on? I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> so you, Lord Almighty. Hold it together. Can't read if my eyes are a little teary. I think it's the second time I've cried on a vlog. I hope you warn you. I do this a lot with books. I bore my eyes out in a lot of books. It's embarrassing. It is a book for God's sake, but it makes me emotional. This will probably happen a lot. <laughs> As time goes by, you probably see a lot of tearing from me from books. <laughs>
Oh, you mother of God. It was a wrong time to wear a wig though, I don't know where it goes.
I finally composed myself to do a proper talk but I finished it oh my god <laughs> I will keep, keep it I will keep it quick and simple I just don't want to spoil it if you want a book that's full of about learning yourself doing your, like learning your inner strength fighting to bring goodness back into yourself if you want a book that focuses on women being equal or even better than men if you want a book about self journeys and bringing yourself out of your fear if you want a book where there is light at the end of such darkness in the tunnel read it read this book i am speechless i am speechless over this book in so many good ways i love this series there's nothing about this series i do not love Akata is my favourite series, will always be my favourite series, but this book is my favourite at the minute. Out of all the books I've read, this is my favourite. I loved the journey Nessa went on, the pure shit she's been through and how she fought and fought and fought and I can't fault her she is an amazing character she's an amazing woman and i don't care what anyone says about her she's flipping brilliant i know she has a demons but we all do we all have demons and at the end of the day after everything that she's been through she showed who's boss it was brilliant the last like 75 page well uh, yeah no last 100 pages really hit i won't go into what's going on but let's just say i predicted i had an inkling what possibly might have happened in this riot right right <laughs> this like thing i predicted it and I saw it coming and I was correct, but that didn't actually annoy me. Usually it does, but it didn't because I didn't expect what come from the aftermath of that. Sarah J Mass knows how to, she knows the how to keep you on the edge of your seat. She knows how to put certain things in the book. It's like she knows, right, I'm not gonna put this into this book too soon because it will spoil it i will leave it dangling so everyone knows what's going on i got numb feet by the way that's why i keep moving yeah she just she dangles bits and she she like teases you and you're like what's gonna is this gonna happen oh no it's not gonna happen when's this gonna happen and then she squeezes it in yes okay it was the last hundred pages but I can see why she did it. I understand why she did it. And I'm glad she did it. Because everything needed to happen in that moment. Everything needed to come together at that moment. And I understand why she left it that late. I understand why she did it. And I think I may have had like about 10 dozen heart attacks <laughs> in those 100 pages. I have never been so shook on how things will end. At one point, I honest to God thought that was the end, that that was that, that, you know, this was all over. And then, boom, something else happened. And <laughs> she makes you in an emotional wreck. You have, like, every single emotion going through in this book. You have hate, you have lust, you have love. You have like some sort of hold, you just rooting for them, yet yeah, you sort of want to bash their heads together. You get upset, you you just want the best for them. Oh, but every emotion 
I felt and I just want to say that as much as it doesn't really fully approach depression and mental health you you can tell what went on with Nessa was some sort of depression some sort of PTSD from what happened to her and okay this is a fantasy book and in hindsight it probably won't actually go into that but I think the story behind this is that that was going on and how all of that changed and it is it was how you find light even in the darkest of times there are so many quotes in here that are amazing that I gonna have to read go back and highlight and write them down because I need to add them in my reading journal because they are quotes that I think I will have to keep going on in my brain for myself personally I think even though this is a fantasy book Sarah J Mass had some very important brilliant messages about women and that no matter what sex you are you can be amazing that you can do things regardless of whether you are a female or a male and I'm here for that because I'm sorry after the certain events that's gone on about women at the minute no why should we live in fear why should we be women who get attacked when you know why is it just, why is it us and this book just knuckled and nailed that in the head it was it's a brilliant book I don't think I can read for a while after this book I know I'm going to have a little reading hangover in a good way absolutely amazing book I'm glad I took my time reading it and I'm now going to sob because I am going to miss being in a night court world and I hope to god that Sir J Mass would writes another book and I hope that it's Elaine as much as she's not my favourite character I want to now know what's going to go on with her and just to have all of the characters back involved I'm going to miss the world of Fae and Night Courts and all the other courts I'm going to miss the characters but the fourth in the series is done it's complete and it was a bloody good book if you have not read this series, then I beg you to. It is the perfect amount of fantasy. It's not too in your face. It's a, from, to me, it's a good starter point into fantasy. I'm sorry, you need to read this series. I'm not one to force people to read the series, but I actually do beg you to read this series because it's amazing. Sergei Mass writing style is fantastic. And I am, I'm so glad I read it and I'm going to really miss this book. But yeah, fantastic book, an absolutely fantastic read. And I'm glad I got to share my reading journey all to do with this book. But now that's me over. We're all done and dusted and another reading vlog is finished. So Thank you for watching this very emotional roller coaster of a vlog and please let me know your thoughts if you've read this this book please send me like you know drop me a comment and let's have a discussion about it because I need to talk to someone about this book but yeah thank you for watching and being here with this journey and I will see you again for another vlog at some point I'm sure. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.